shaped glass, you get an A. <laughs> you got, you an, got an A rating. You get a square. <laughs> Shit, oh fuck, I got a square. I got an octagon. I'm better than you. <laughs> you got an A rating. A, a for awesome. We gotta solve this. Shit. Yeah, I feel like this would have to probably be the last puzzle for the night before we go finish things up. Yeah, my brain's dead. Because, uh, uh, but I also want to get you, you guys, while you're in rhythm. While it's fresh. Rhythm is a dancer. <laughs> I'm always in my rhythm. How many is it? Okay. Well, I mean, we're just we're just talking Tetris right now. Like, you gotta like stretch this mofo, get him into the fold. You know what I'm saying? Katie, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> trying an alien at a counter. Katie, Katie, it sounds like you're not trying to solve this puzzle right now. I was, like and then I strong. screwed it up. <laughs> All right, let's 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 uh, use threes over here to, to pull that guy in. Uh, <laughs> yo, and then we need... Oh, shit. Katie, I'm trying to solve this. I know, I'm you're sorry. You're getting in the way. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, that's the shape. That's the shape we got. Shit, is it? Shit, shitty, it's not. It's not even I the shape. I do a shitty ET, and you can totally get rid of it. Because I screwed it up, and I made it something. Okay, so... Okay, do you have <laughs> another grid over here that you can use? I was... No, I was originally going to solve it, and then I screwed it up. And then I was like, well, I'm just going to roll with it. Can't back out now, yeah. <laughs> so, I feel pretty strongly that that's how you grab that piece. Yeah. So, Katie, I'm trying to just draw the shape first before trying to, like, solve it. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. Go ahead. Whatever. Um, no, I wasn't trying to shut it. you down. I'll erase it. No, no, no. I think, that's a, I think that's a good way to, like, solve it. No. Joe, can you just erase? Yep. No, I got it. It's fine. Aw. All together. Uh, 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 I wanted to erase. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, so I'm it like trying this. to... Yeah. I'm just trying to draw the shapes that are going to sort of bring it <laughs> into the fold. That seems like a good shape for that. So that's uh, good. No, I... I think that one, we want to, like, bring these two together into the same shape. So, like that. But then this is not part of it. It's so, got to be the same number of squares. Fuck. Uh, hold on. Side note, you know what song I have stuck in my head? I don't. Uh, Zorn and Thorn's theme from Final Fantasy IX. Mm. Dun, 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 dun. I was going to say, are you going to hum it to us? Um, hmm. Why don't you do... Oh, never mind. Because I was going to say, maybe just combine it into one big blob, but that's not going to work. Hmm. Okay, I'm rethinking myself on that. Uh, so here's the problem I'm having: these these two on the bottom are four apart, and there's no shapes that are that have four connecting them. So in order to bring these two together, we need to use two shapes. And I don't like that, but it's kind of just what we got to do. Um. Why? Why does it have to be this way? As and opposed not to like this way. Because you can't rotate them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, no, I mean that's been screwing me up the whole time too. Because like so the first time we solved this puzzle, it. we rotated it. I'm trying. I'm trying. No, it's it's. I'm tough. gonna make it. I'm gonna make we it. We learned the wrong thing as our first <laughs> introduction to this puzzle. Sorry. Um. It's all good. <laughs> I like. I, I think I've got it now. But either way, right here, this has got to stay here. Yeah. Nope. Uh, this square needs to be part of it because it has that. That's how you sort of get the powers of that shape. But the two by two could be like here. And then this could. But be But I mean, like... it has to stay in that shape, though. No. The side. It has to stay on the side. It has to be two by two, two, nope. two. Yeah, well, it's not, not tilted. Not, not so. right there, no. It's not going to be no, no, a closed-off-tude thing. 
is what yeah, Jesse no, no, is no. saying. I'm not but saying Katie it has to literally be. Okay. I'm not saying it has to literally be there. there. I'm just saying cool. it has yeah. to be two shapes like that. Yep. yep, yep yeah, yep. that's what I meant. Cool. Uh, yeah. So so we have <laughs> to use two different shapes in order to bring these two pieces together. Um. And so I'm I'm trying to figure out the best way to do that. Do you want me to clear? Sure. Yeah. Uh, and I'm mean, like, we eventually want to get up here. So I was just like, about to draw it out with my mouse to be like, it's right here, but no, I can't cause you guys can see my mouse. Let's see. Like this could possibly be one of them, right? Like that's theoretically possible. <coughs> and that would be this shape here and then this shape here. And then we got it. Damn puzzles! There you so go. So now, how do we how do we get that? Let's do this. How do we get that going. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Good job. Thank you. You can just yeah, spin I like the these shapes. Now that I have and I'll just do it. <laughs> <laughs> you just fill it in. I, the funny thing is, that was gonna take me a hard time to be like, okay, how do we draw that? <laughs> so we will save that little yellow one down there for later. That's what can we do it now? Can we there's, at least see it? There's uh, this one too. Oh, All yeah. right. Let's do that. Uh, wait, 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 which one are we doing? We're, I'm leaving. <laughs> but Joe, we need you. Katie is dying. <laughs> I'm trying to stay coherent. <laughs> we'll go that. see this too, real quick. Oh, easy. You oh, wait. it's the shapes. Just draw it. <laughs> just draw the shapes. It's just a big square. Katie, do you want to do this inside. one? I did it. We do have a, uh, a puzzle counter going. <laughs> Shit, you're right. So wait, wait, wait. What do you mean puzzle counter? Are you like so for every post I make, I'm, for every post I'm making, I'm saying how many puzzles we solved in the video. Oh, so people it can see. Like, it so people can see which like, ones which one are one just us bullshitting essentially. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it needs to be a competitive like who solved which puzzle. <laughs> oh God. Uh, no, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't. I'm not coherent enough to do this today. <laughs> uh, so, Joe, are we are we doing this? Nope. No, I was uh, making a submarine. Shit. <laughs> that's a speed we goal. have a we have a bit of a walk, so. Okay. Start walking. Oh, we're just gonna cut this a bit. Oh man, your head was huge, and now you're Pikmin. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Purple Pikmin. <laughs> Purple. <laughs> that is not, like a built tool. I know. <laughs> they were like, who would possibly need to use that? Us. <laughs> I'm just using the point tool. <laughs> or you're gonna try hey, to look do at the dot. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> No, I can't. Kill the trees. Cut them. Just cut them down. Bend them. Yeah. Missed that one too. Oh, but. <laughs> got an old tiny mustache. It's gigantic. What Pikmin is this? What manner of burger is this? Katie, how do I draw good? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Katie. You draw fine. Oh my god, his eyes are bleeding and his mouth is full of blood. What'd you do? You draw. Oh my god. <laughs> what have you done? You just keep doing it. What is that, Katie? A oh, man with mutton chops. I see. Look at this lady. Joe, we're busy. It's trying to save. <laughs> it's trying to save the crazy ass Pikmin. Joe, I thought you were gone. <laughs> that you left.
<laughs> what are you making horns? I'm trying. <laughs> that other one didn't work out so well. <laughs> Somehow got more oh no, tapered. it's a snowy peak with vault symbols all over it. Phoenix right? Yeah. She's saying fuck you. <laughs> oh, it's the new laser. The backs. Look at this guy. <laughs> Hold on. What's going Hold on? Hold on a sec. Let's... Let me get into proper areas so that I'm <laughs> saved. <laughs> just my crap over there. <laughs> the worst picture. Uh, All right. Look at this guy. <laughs> Seems like he's having a bad time. <laughs> he looks like. Oh, he's, he's... still in a box. Oh man. <laughs> Hold on. We can. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm doing doodles. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that face. Oops, his arm got huge. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, he's ripped. <laughs> Chris Redfield, what are you doing here? I heard he has a six pack. <laughs> he's got a, I heard he's got an eight pack. <laughs> I heard he's shredded. <laughs> <laughs> Draw the L. That's going on the golden wall. He's got a bald spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a Luigi hat. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, there you go. I do. <laughs> there you go. It's L from Death. All right, can I save it? Please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Night. <laughs> All right, I'm clearing. <laughs> you'll have opportunity. Well, you'll have an opportunity. You'll have an opportunity. I'll, okay. All right, I'll right. get things oh, that rolling here. That was a golden opportunity. <laughs> Ooh, an audio oh, book. Uh, hope yeah. This is, uh, hope this is a uh, Song of Ice and Fire, Chapter One. Up Cash there, money. <laughs> you go around every hour and a half, time after time after time. You wake up usually in the mornings, and just the way that the track of your orbits go, you wake up over the Mideast, over North Africa. As you eat breakfast, you look out the window as you're going past, and there's the Mediterranean area, and Greece, and Rome, and North Africa, and the Sinai, the whole area. And you realize that in one glance, that what you're seeing is what was the whole history of a man for years, the cradle of civilization. And you go around down across North Africa and out over the Indian Ocean and look up at that great subcontinent of India pointed down toward you as you go past it. And Ceylon off to the side, Burma, Southeast Asia, out over the Philippines and up across that monstrous Pacific Ocean vast body of water. You've never realized how big that is before. And you finally come up across the coast of California and look for those friendly things. Los Angeles and Phoenix and on across El Paso. And there's Houston. There's home. And you look and sure enough, there's the Astrodome. And you identify with that, you know? It's an attachment and down across New Orleans, and then looking down to the south, and there's the whole peninsula of Florida laid out. And all the hundreds of hours you spent flying across that route, down in the atmosphere, all that is friendly again. And you go out across the Atlantic Ocean and back across Africa. And you do it again, and again, and again. And that identity, that you identify with Houston, and then you identify with Los Angeles, and Phoenix, and New Orleans, and everything. And the next thing you recognize in yourself is you're identifying with North Africa. You look forward to that. You anticipate it. And there it is. That whole process begins to shift of what it is you identify with. When you go around it in an hour and a half, 
you begin to recognize that your identity is with that whole thing. And that makes a change. You look down there and you can't imagine how many borders and boundaries you crossed again and again and again. And you don't even see them. At that wake up scene, the Mid East, you know there are hundreds of people killing each other over some imaginary line that you can't see. From where you see it, the thing is a whole, and it's so beautiful. And you wish you could take one from each side in hand and say, look at it from this perspective. Look at that. What's important? And so a little <laughs> later on, your friend, again those same neighbors, another astronaut, the person next to you goes out to the moon. And now he looks back and sees the Earth not as something big where he can see the beautiful <laughs> details, but he sees the Earth as a small thing out there. And now that contrast between that bright blue and white Christmas tree ornament and that black sky, that infinite universe really comes through. The size of it, the significance of it, it becomes both things. It becomes so small and so fragile and such a precious little spot in that universe that you can block it out with your thumb. And you realize that on that small spot, that little blue and white thing is everything that means anything to you. All of history and music and poetry and art and war and death no, and we birth don't think and about love, art. tears, joy, games, that all of it is on that little spot out there that you can cover with your thumb. It's a big thumb. And you realize that that perspective, that you've changed, that there's something new there, that relationship is no longer what it was. And then you look back on the time when you were outside on that EVA and those few moments that you had the time because the camera malfunctioned, that you had the time to think about what was happening. And you recall staring out there at the spectacle that went before your eyes. Because now, you're no longer inside something with a window looking out at a picture. But now you're out there, and what you've got around your head is a goldfish bowl, and there are no limits here. There are no frames. There are no boundaries. You're really out there, over it, floating, going 25,000 miles per hour, ripping through space, a vacuum, and there's not a sound. There's a silence, the depth of which you've never experienced before. And that silence contrasts so markedly with the scenery and the speed with which you know you're going. That contrast, the mix of those two things, really comes through. And you think about what you're experiencing and why. Do you deserve this? This fantastic experience? Have you earned this in some way? Are you separated out to be touched by God to have some special experience here that other men cannot have? You know the answer to that is no. There's nothing that you've done that deserves that, that earned that. It's not a special thing for you. You know very well at that moment, and it comes through to you so powerfully that you're the sensing element for man. You look down and see the surface of that globe that you've lived on all this time, and you know all those people down there. They are like you. They are you. And somehow you represent <laughs> them when you are up there. A sensing element that point out on the end. And that's a humbling feeling. It's a feeling that says you have a responsibility. It's not for yourself. The eye that doesn't see <laughs> does not do justice to the body. That's why it's there. That's why you're out there. And somehow you recognize that you're a piece of this total life. You're out on that forefront and you have to bring that back somehow. And that becomes a rather special responsibility. It tells you something about your relationship with this thing we call life. And when you come back, there's a difference in that world now. There's a difference in that relationship between you and that planet, and you and all those other forms of life on that planet, because you've had that kind of experience. It's a difference, and it's so precious. 
And all through this, I've used the word you because it's not me. It's not Dave Scott. It's not Dick Gordon, Pete Conrad, John Glenn. It's you. It's us. It's we. It's life. It's had that experience. And it's not just my problem to integrate. It's not uh. my challenge to integrate, my joy <laughs> to integrate. It's yours. It's everybody's. Oh my god, she's a lizard person. Oh my god, Russell are they done? Schleichart, 1975. Oh, <laughs> so it was, it, was, it was space. That person must have been so high on fucking... <laughs> Uh, there's one like thing I, I AF. There's one thing I want to do before we finish. What are you doing, Jesse? Is that a blunt? <laughs> no. It's okay. a reptilian. It, it could be. Okay. Could be that. She's a reptilian. Yes. She's gotta get a pink, a nice, a cute pink bow. There you go. On that tail. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Can you make the guy? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Blushing. <laughs> he just looks like a cat. <laughs> looks like Naruto. Sure. <laughs> 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 Alright. Alright, I gotta cut you off. Why does he have spurs? <laughs> does the robber have spurs? You had to get away on his horse. I like that we're recording these because I go back and listen to the story. <laughs> I don't focus on drawing. All I heard was you were floating above the world and the world is passing you by and yet you don't care about thumb. anybody else's yep. cultures. It's not or your problem. It was space. Yeah. Whatever. Hey. It wasn't space hey. to begin with. Do you yeah. see this? No. no. It's Hitchcock. <gasps> oh my. Still Hitchcock. Yes. So satisfying. It is. Wait, that's a different one. Oh my god, there's a... There's a lot of obelisks. Obeloids. That was what I wanted to finish on. That's awesome. I yeah. also wanted good, to get that audio ending. log uh, <laughs> finished and done with. Good. <laughs> Luigi takes his... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a guy working on his laptop. Oh, yeah. Luigi takes cake. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's really that. funny, though, for some reason. <laughs> Luigi, take us a cake. <laughs> Luigi, don't take that cake. That's not your cake. Do you want to go on a boat ride real quick? Boats or do you are wanna... in. Boats are in. Luigi <laughs> takes the cake. Again. <laughs> do you want to go on a boat running. ride, or do you want to call it right there? Uh, let's Katie. call it. You're going to call it? Okay. Call Katie's got to get some sleep. Yeah. I need sleep. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks thanks for joining good. me we learned a new puzzle oh uh, yeah <gasps> <laughs> upside down star what, kept what? Of cake, and I'm like I must be really tired because why would the hell I would I see why would the hell all right bye